Did you know that cutting down trees in one part of the world could lead to drought in somewhere else or flood in some other part of the world? Sounds strange, right? But it's true. Cutting down trees, for example, Amazon forest can lead to drought in India, northern parts of the India and flood in the southern part of the region. Forests are full of life. Trees, birds, insects, animals and even tiny fungi that you can't see. These forests are not just homes for wildlife, they also help humans survive. But when trees are cut down or cleared for farming, building or woods, we call it deforestation. Let's take a look at why people cut down forest. To clear land for farming, to build houses or factories, to make furniture or use wood as a fuel. Sounds useful, right? Maybe, but the problem it creates are so way bigger. When we cut down too many trees, the balance of the nature is disturbed. And guess what happens? The temperature rises. Pollution increases, which means there is more carbon dioxide in air than before. Groundwater level goes down. That would mean less water is now available for consumption. And soil, soil becomes dry, hard and lifeless. So yeah, cutting down too many trees really messes things up for us and for nature. Remember what I said at the beginning. Cutting trees in one place can lead to flood or drought somewhere else. Sounds wild, but it's totally true. Let's find out what actually happens. Why some places get less rainfall and others face flood all because of deforestation. So here is how it works. Trees breathe in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, right? Yes, we know that. Fewer trees then means more carbon dioxide in the air. So the carbon dioxide traps heat which leads to global warming. That is the overall temperature of the earth atmosphere increases. And that messes up the water cycle causing less rainfall and sometimes even droughts. Now how does more flood happen? Trees also hold soil together and helps water seep into the ground, right? When we cut them, soil gets loose and water runs off quickly causing floods. And also, without the trees, soil loses its top layer, becomes less fertile and turns into a desert over time. A process called desertification. Forest gives us so much. Wood, fruits, rubber, paper and even medicine. If we keep cutting down the trees, we'll face shortages of these essential products too. So deforestation is not just about losing trees. It's about changing the weather, damaging the soil and risking our future. So next time you see a tree, remember, it's more powerful than it looks. You should think about what you can do to protect the forest, the nature and conserve it.